Hello and welcome back to finally another episode of Grey and Skies. Yeah, it's been like a week since I recorded an episode, I know, I know. But here we are, we're back again. Actually, just now I replaced uh, the old blood runes with some runes of sacrifice there. Although the runes of sacrifice... <sighs> thing is to get the stuff, to get the blood out of the, the mobs or animals. We need the animals to be here next to the altar to actually make the blood go into the altar. Now I'm going to need a lot of blood for the thing I need to do here. I need to put an emerald into the altar here. This is tier 2 altar now. And we need to give it 5,000 LP. Now for as far as I know from what I've been looking up is the LP, LP I've got stored in my network in the old uh, weak blood orb here. I don't think there's any way to get it from this into the altar. I'm not sure. Or at least not yet. Now I can use the orb in other things like our thing over here. But I don't think... There might be a way later on or there's something I'm missing. But I don't think there's any place to put our blood orb power into there. So to get 5,000 LP I need to sacrifice myself. But to do that I'm going to need a lot of like regen or some healing or something. To get enough LP into there. So that's going to be like... I mean, 10 hearts is 2k LP, so we're going to need, like, 25 hearts. And I don't know how I'm going to do that. I'm either going to have to make some kind of potions somehow, like healing potions or regen. So, it's back to the drawing board with the old original stuff. I kind of want to get these safari... What? I kind of want to use these safari nets. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, hi, how you doing? Yeah. Yes, come on to the altar. Yes. Did you give that stuff? Did you give stuff to the altar? Probably not, right? No. I'm not sure how the dagger bloody works then. Do you have to be actually on the rune? It says if you kill it with this, it's supposed to give you LP. Oh well. Maybe it gives you LP into your orb instead of the uh, altar. Yeah, I'm confused a bit with the old network stuff. Looks like we're going to have to sacrifice ourselves. So we're going to need some kind of healing potions or something. So let's look up potion. And where can, what can we find for the old healing potions there? So normal healing potions. Instant health. We need glistening melons in an orca potion. So that's a load of nuggets. Or we could use honey drops and stuff for, and honeydew from forestry or we could like put liquid gold into a glisten into a melon now the thing is do I have melons at all I mean the other option is the regeneration potion and I believe you need gas tears for that yeah now gas tears is not really sank our head so we we're gonna have to look into melons maybe to get our healing potions here so I think I might have some melon seeds in here somewhere we do. Now, if we use our watering can, wherever that may be, we might be able to get some results there. So, it should be in here. Our watering can somewhere. Okay, maybe it's not... I know we had a watering can, because we watered the old stuff over there. The watering can is the most amazing thing. Especially if you're playing with the magic, Magical Crops mod. The watering can's amazing. I don't... It might be in the end here. It might be in here. Uh, if we search for... If we do this... Mortar in... Go like that. Ah, oh, there we go. So it's easier to find when you go to the old yellow mode there. So now we need to plant these somewhere where they can grow. So we need water and two rows of stuff next to it. Now, if we put a row of dirt next to that row we might be able to grow these so let's get some extra dirt we're going to knock down the old uh, sugar cane temporarily and we're going to put an extra temporary row of grass there and we should be able to get some results right here with these uh, seeds so hey I do still need to put some there don't I alright you can have some sugarcane. There you go, we completed our square, sort of. 
right here. This is not the greatest place I could grow. I should probably grow it over in the farm, but you know, apparently I can't even grow it here. Apparently I do need to grow it on like a thing back there. Apparently you need to grow it on grass for the melons to uh, work. Yeah, that could be a problem. Let's go over to our farm. I mean, we've got spare area in a farm. We're growing a slime tree, so let's knock this down. Let's get some grass seeds in there and some water. And we could grow some melons. Why not? I mean, glistening melons. Probably want to row down the middle here. Fill it with water. Gonna need some grass seeds. I think we have some grass seeds. Uh, we may as well take uh, wheat as well. You know, we kind of want food still. Uh, may as well make it into slime balls, whatever. So, yeah, we're still trying to. This is kind of a long road to doing some blood magic right now. Getting some bloody potions so I can actually sacrifice and make sure we don't waste our blood energy. So we may as well get this back. We have a shovel, which I should be using. You can have your sugar cane back. Well done. We're not growing, we're not growing here after all. Okay, let's go over here. Get rid of some stuff. Uh, mob drops. Yeah, you can have your mob drops. Let's put some stuff away. To be honest with you, I don't think we're going to get too much done for the old blum magic today. But this is all part of the process to, you know, get that emerald into our apprentice orb. And then we can do our stuff in here. Yeah. And I know that person is like, read your comment, like... You can fly around with a flask and stuff and get to other islands. Cool, but not right now. I don't the other I'm not I don't think this is the multiplayer map, by the way. But the multiplayer map, there is like loads of different islands people can play on and there's a main island in the middle. But I don't think this map has that. So anyway. What are we doing? Oh well, getting rid of that bit of chicken first. We're also looking towards doing our melons. So we need grass seeds. There we go, some grass seeds. We need some buckets to fill up the water over there as well. So have we got any buckets? See, so yeah, it might be in here, but sometimes I put them in my tool chest here. I don't see buckets. Do I actually have any buckets? Let's do our, you know, the old yellow bar search here, bucket there's no bucket in there, no bucket no bucket not in there not in there I ah, see, I have some buckets I, I would have probably just gone and made them if I haven't search, searched for all these you can have that oh yeah, something else I'm working on over here, I turned a load and I mean a load of iron stuff from here into uh dust and stuff. I mean, I still got some in there. But I turned a load of it into dust. And we are start, started to pulverize it. I mean, I had this much and I had another stack of iron dust. And I put that through my pulverizer here, as you can see. Now we're going to actually start smelting it off. Why not? And we're going to get ourselves a couple more stacks of iron, because iron's a pretty good resource overall for most things you want to do. Anyway, we need to fill up our buckets of water and we need to head on over to our farm and you know we need to get this sorted out. I don't think this bloody slime tree is decaying. God dang you slime tree. Let's put that there, put that there. Give me them. All right, Couple more buckets of water and it'd be fooled. Uh, fooled? God, fooled. What kind of English is that? Full. Yes, fooled. It's just full. Uh, what am I. I can't even speak my own language. There we go. Right, so we need some. As I said, I don't think we can plant these right here, so we're gonna have to grass it up a bit. We're gonna use. Uh, probably like a couple of them on each side. 
Actually, we're just going to do as much as we can on each side. But the grass should spread a bit. And we only have three seeds in it. What, you, what do you mean you can't part them here? Melon seeds. Maybe... Oh, maybe it's not the grass. What a nub. I know I can't plant them. I know I can't plant them. It's not, nothing to do with grass. I just wasted my grass seeds, by the way. Not that I really need them anyway. Of course, to plant stuff. You need a different kind of tool. You need a hoe. What a knob. I didn't even hoe the land. Where is my hoe? We have a stone hoe. That'll do. But yeah, you need to hoe the land to plant. Uh, who who would have known I would have messed something like that up? Everyone, probably. What a noob. Just going to hoe all that. The grass is spread anyway. Alright, melons, and now we have melons, we need to grow the bloody melons, watering can, grow them all, what, these are pumpkin seeds, no comment, just don't even think about commenting right now, don't comment right now, just pretend this never happened, this never happened, okay. I don't even know if I have melon seeds. Apparently there were pumpkin seeds. Uh, you know, tooltips are a thing that you can read. But apparently, I'm too numb to read a tooltip. Maybe there were melon seeds, because these are pumpkin seeds. I swear it's a pumpkin stem back there. Okay, may maybe... I'm... It's nub either way you look at it right now. <laughs> I, 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 I just don't know. Oh, by the way, I found this creeper thing. This trophy from clearing out the mobs. I swear it said pumpkin stem right there. It's a tile.pumpkin stem dot block or something. I'm very confused right now. Uh, let's m try and make this decay. So, yeah, it's this pumpkin stem. You sure this uh, this is melons? You sure? Oh yeah, we can water the land. Give me some grass and stuff. Are you gonna turn into uh, are you gonna turn into a problem? I probably should move out of the way. By the way, kind of want them to grow on to the block I was on. So these stems should be fully grown pre right, right about now, and we're just waiting for it to plonk them. Well, which I hope hopefully will be a melon. It says pumpkin stem. It is a melon. It is a melon. Now, what is that? Okay. Sure. But we're not we're not planting trees right here, right? There's a pumpkin. All right. So the, with these first couple of pumpkins, we're not actually uh, first couple of melons even. I'm not. I'm actually gonna get some seeds and stuff. So we can plant the rest. Pumpkin stem. That pumpkin stem really threw me off. Oh, we got another pumpkin. I'm, called, I'm even calling melons pumpkins now. That's just how thrown off I am. So we need a couple melons and then we can do our glistening melons. We should have enough gold to do, you know... you got to make the nuggets and then... Put them around the melon glistening melon. Then we can make some potions, okay? I'm not sure if I have much never water in the chest, so I might take some more with me. And let's just make sure a few more melons grow. Give me this one for a start. Uh, one more melon should do it right now. Let's just grow these out of the side. There we go. We'll take that one. And we're done there. So we're going to take a few never warts, just a row maybe. So you don't need a lot if we're making potions. I mean, you can make three awkward potions with the old never wart just from one. So we're gonna, we might need to make some glass bottles, fill them up with water. Yeah, we're doing some normal Minecraft alchemy because I'm not like that, basically. So let's put our warts in there, our spare melon seeds. We don't need pumpkin seeds now, we don't need normal seeds, we've got a random... Papaya sapling. 
Uh, we should probably check on our iron because we don't want to carry around too much dust. Get this done. There we go. Slap that in there. And probably want to pulverize that. Give me all that. Now we've got more dust on us, but it's fine for now. So, one thing we actually haven't got, which we probably will need, is a couple normal, a couple normal ones of these. So, where can I find blaze rods? Blaze rods. There we go. A couple of those, and we just need some cobblestone. There we go. Probably could use that. Probably should have been using the old. Uh, mine factory thing for this but oh well so now we need some glass bottles got three water bottles there and we'll take three more one of and then is that an awkward potion or something else it's a something else okay so now we're going to go and fill these up uh for the f may as well stick all these in here already Normal Minecraft alchemy. That wasn't what I was expecting from this episode, but it's what we've got to do. We don't have to. I mean, I could try and just go for this with... Someone's going to tell me of a way I could have got my 5,000 life points into that. But... I don't actually know myself how to do it. So what we're going to do here is put those in. We're going to grab ourselves two of these this is the only way I know how to do this so that's what we're doing it like this let's do that let's do that I might turn them into like throwing versions so you know it's a bit faster to love it on the ground at my feet than to sip it all up you know so we're gonna get our awkward potions we have to make our glistening melons now, so we're going to need... Well, if we have some... We have a couple of nuggets about. And we probably need... Uh, we probably need two gold bars there. Right, melon time. So let's put that around here like that. Two glistening melons. Should be good. Are these all done right? Glistening melon. Glistening melon. Put these back. Uh, I'll put them with the ingots, why not? So there we go. Potions should be made into healing potions. Now, how do I make the insta healing twos? So, potion. Potion of instant healing two. Instant health two is glowstone in there. So we need a couple bits of glowstone. They should be in here. Yep, two bits. And after this is done, which is done now, we can make them into Insta Healings 2, which gives us more health. And then we can make them throwable with gunpowder, I believe. So, like a potion of Insta Healing 2 splash version is going to be gunpowder. So, yeah, I kind of I kind of want to make them throwable just because I can. And this should be done very shortly. There we go, stick the gunpowder in. A master class of brew in there. Not really, but... Gotta put the gunpowder... We're gonna put redstone in to, I think... Does red st I don't think redstone will work, actually, on the uh, insta Hiddens 2s, but redstone works on some things. So, like, things that have a duration is more... Uh, Things have a duration you add redstone up to to make them last longer. Alright, so we need to sacrifice ourselves here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Instant healing, instant healing. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Instant healing, instant healing. Keep doing it. Instant healing, instant healing. Let's see, let's have a look at the this. Let's see, let's see what's going on. Cut. It's got. 
It's going down. It's using it all up. Hopefully, we've got enough in there now. If not, we can chip in a bit more, maybe. It's going down. Look at that. It's using it all up into that emerald. We've put in more than enough, but there we go. Now, if I right-click this, it'll bind it to me. Yep. And we're good to go. We did need quite a lot of that uh, instant heal in there. But there we go. We've got our new blood orb. I don't know if it's got anything in it. Oh, crap. I don't know how you, much, how you can see how much is in there. Right, if we do the sigil. Oh, it actually carried over the 5,000. Right. Now, we can actually get to our mission. Stick that in there. And now it's doing something. Hey, we done it! Hey, we got the weak binding of Isaac agent. <laughs> yes, weak binding of Isaac agent. Mom's heart will we'll make a mom's heart soon. So we finally done it. We finally done it. Right, let's open up our uh, thing here. It wasn't this time. Oh, it was this one. We've got to make another simple catalyst. So the simple catalyst, what, I think it was like sugar, glowstone, gunpowder and some redstone stuff, so I don't think it was too hard to make. I wonder if we can find, do I have to look it up or can we look in here? Simple catalyst, we can look up in here. So we need uh, two redstone, a glowstone, a gunpowder and a sugar. Glowstone, sugar, and a gunpowder. Do we need, and we stick it in there, right? What was the old two redstone with sugar at top? And what about the bomb two? Bomb two, a glowstone on the left. I don't know if it matters which side to put stuff in. And that should give me a simple catalyst as well. So we can manual submit our weak binding agent there. I'm gonna go and manual submit that as well. Now potion flask. I'm not sure how you make this. We'll find out. Potion flask. So you need how do you make the normal potion flask? A glass bottle on an altar will make you a potion flask. How much life points does it say? It looks like it's already working. Is that going to be enough though? Oh, just enough. Good. Oh, apparently it didn't work. Crap. How much life points does it say again? 2,000 on a tier 2. So we need we even needed the tier two to do this. That's going to be like pretty much my full health bar. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. We need to regen a heart and then do it again. And that should make us a potion flask there. This should be enough. Let's see what's happened, and that's a potion flask. Now we can manually submit that and claim our reward. Which one do we want? A potion flask or a reward bag? Well, the most of the reward bags suck, so we get the potion flask. And an extra heart. It's a good one, right? Yeah. Sometimes I think they're going to troll me and give one of the bad hearts again. So we've actually done it. We actually completed that task at last. That's complete. That's complete. We're getting down here now on the old blood stuff. We need larger orbs. The weak blood orb is not going to be enough. So we're going to have to upgrade up. You need a gold block with 30k life power. How the balls am I going to get 30k life power into an altar? You're going to need some crazy... We're going to need some crazy sacrifices there. That's going to be for another day, I guess. Let's have a look at the next Foundcraft one here. Uh, a table. That's something I can uh, get my head around. 
So the table is going to be some slabs, probably. Yeah, some slabs, some some wood. Do we actually have any wood? I wonder if there's some spare wood in the system over here. Mm, it doesn't look like it. Well, looks like we're going to go and have to chop down a tree or two. Going to invis invisibility or fire resistance. You know, I could go for a swim in the never with a bit of that. Eight swigs left on that. That's going to give us like over half an hour of bloody fire resistance. In fact, it's probably going to be about 45 minutes-ish. That's kind of awesome. So we only need a couple bits of wood here. Uh, I could put a sapling down, but screw it right now. So basically we need a couple of slabs and we also need some normal stuff. So if we go like that, like that, and we get a table. Yeah, now we need to make a thermometer. I don't know where I can get... I don't know if there's going to be like nodes around here. Um, um, so we need two shards, some glass, and a... Did I submit all my shards, or did I get them back? I wonder. I can't remember. The shards. We have a couple of shards here, so let's have a... Let's use two of the fire shards, why not? And a bit of glass. And a bit of gold. I think we can make this. There we go. Found one more tar. Let's eat it up. And let's have a look. See what the the quest book is gonna say. Claim reward, yeah. Yeah, another heart. Are we ever gonna die? We've got fifteen lives. What's the point of even having a hardcore thing? Oh, all the bees. Cultivated princess and drones. That actually would actually help us a lot towards bees here. But did we, did we lose some of the bees? Maybe. All right. Got a bunch of stuff on us. We kind of need to make some more bread and cook that as well. We are running out of food. You can have your shard. And what else we've got to put away? Got quite a lot of stuff we should put away. I think, don't you need two tables on Magic Wandit to make a... Make a thing for Foundcraft? I think you need to make two tables, right? And then you put like... The, the like, vile stuff on or something, I don't know. I'm pretty sure though. I mean, I could look in the the fun mom 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 how, does it tell me how to make a research table? Research table. It doesn't show me how to make the table. I'm pretty sure it's two of these tables and then you put like some scribing tools on it or something and it works or a magic wand. I should know this but I don't because I'm kind of a nub. Don't worry if I'm calling myself nub people. I, I It's just my thing. It's my thing to call myself an ob. So if that annoys you, but I've accepted my nubness, you know. So that's how you make the famomicon with a magic wand on a bookshelf. Now, research table. It doesn't tell me how to make the research table actually. Uh. Tell me how to make research table, please. Maybe it would have been on the next page if I had read further. 
Tells me how to make a Falmomicon. Uh, workbench, shapeless. Need scribing tools, there's an ink sac, feather, and a glass file. Blah, blah, blah. It uses all that stuff. So, to craft a research table, place two tables next to each other and click on them with a set of scribing tools. So, to make the scribing tools, we'd need an ink sac. Unfortunately, squids. I might have to dump a squid in there and kill it. Did I ever make a squid egg? Squid egg. Might be in the end there. Is that spawn squid? Yes. So if we drop that in there, in before it doesn't kick, drop any uh, ink sacks at all. Alright squid, you're here. Hi squid! Bye squid! Yeah, we've got two ink sacks. We can actually make scribing tools, so that's that's something. We're gonna need a lot of ink though in the end for uh, more scribing tools. It takes up a lot of ink to do the research. I kind of don't want to do the research though. It's kind of annoying to do first. Actually, I could use one of these guys up here. Uh, cook the ferrous. So, what's going on? Got some raw squid as well. Yeah, we need to cook that bread. Hold on a sec, we're cooking the bread. We need the bread cooked so we can uh, actually eat and not die. You done yet? No. So, yeah, the next mission on the Foundcraft route itself is focus pouch. Wands can be very powerful devices. They become more powerful depending on the components used to make the wand and the focus attached to the wand. A task for the player can have so we need to make gold caps and a focus pouch. Alright. Are we really going to make loads of like pack, uh, caps or thing? Pouch. Probably won't tell me. I probably need to open the book right. How to make a focus pouch. Probably going to be on this. You can tell me how to make a focus pouch. I know how to. I know how to sort of how to make caps and stuff. I guess we need to actually get to the points where we get the uh, gold caps. Uh... Actually, with our Falmomicon, we can do some funny stuff here. Like, boom! Can we actually? S oh yeah, look at that. Give me the old. Uh... Oh yeah, oh yeah. Give me all the stuff. Gonna pull that torch. Oh yeah, pull that flower. <laughs> it's time to scan everything in sight because we can. Give me them. Scan everything. Yeah. Is there enough stuff? To, maybe if I've, I can scan stuff from my inventory, like drop an ink sack. Well, if I had the research, I'd be able to scan it, like an iron shovel, maybe. Nope. Nothing can be learned, apparently. Blood ore? Will it le actually let me do this stuff? Some mods don't have Foundcraft support, so you, n you don't. Oh, yeah, look at that furnace. Give me a bunch of stuff. Crafting table. Sign. Chest. Ah, oh, yeah. So we're getting all the knowledge already. It's going to help us on our way when we do... Oh, I'm not a fan of doing the research. I don't like it. Like, when it first came out with Fancraft 4, I said, Oh, the, we may try to make the thing more fun and stuff, but it's still not fun to do research. Maybe it is for some people, just not for me. It's just a time sink, a waste of time. And I don't like it. Maybe we can research cobblestone. I'm gonna have to scan a crap ton of stuff if I wanna get anywhere. Look at that, cobblestone's done. What about a brewing stand? What about a gold chest? Things with that open you have to like do it from this distance maybe. 
Apparently gold chests won't be done. What about an enchantment table? Oh. See, things that got a UI, you got to be like maximum range. Like here. Well, anyway, I think we're going to end the episode there. We made some progress. I mean, we made a new orb for the blood altar. We'd have to go... We would have to boost our way up to level uh, tier 3 to make the next blood orb though. Which is kind of annoying. And that's something I can maybe work on on my own time maybe. But anyway, thanks for watching this episode. Another episode of Grey and Skies in the Bag. And I look forward to reading your comments. And seeing them numbers alike, Scarp. And I'll see you in the next episode soon. So thanks for watching everyone. And I'll see you then. Goodbye.